Today, we're going to talk about Outlook rules, because if you're anything like me, occasionally your inbox gets out of control. So let's jump right in. There are several ways that you can get to rules, but one of the easiest things to do is to right click, select advanced options and go to create rule. The dialog box that pops up is automatically going to show me who the email is from. And then I can say, move all of these messages to a specified folder. And then I will click run the rule now to start cleaning up my inbox. All of the messages that are currently in my inbox will go to the folder I selected in this case message center. Any future messages will also come to this folder automatically. Next, we're going to look at a different type of rule that allows you to color code the messages in your inbox. In this case, I want every message where I am on the CC line to have a blue category. So I'm going to select create a rule in the toolbar. And then instead of selecting a folder like last time, I'm going to pick more options. And then from there, I am in the settings, in mail, and then rules. So first, I'm going to rename the rule. Outlook made its best guess based on where I started from. I'm going to type in the rule name, in this case on the CC line. And then for the condition, I'm going to go to my name is on the CC line. And now I'm going to specify the action. This is where we're going to get the color coding from. So under select an action, pick categorize. Now for select a category, I'm going to select CC line tag, which I set up in advance for this video. Like we did for the other rule, I'm going to run this one now to clean up any messages that are currently in my box and then click save. In this case, we created the rule from the settings. So you can see now that I have two rules, the one for the CC line and the one that moves everything to the message center. When I close the settings and go back to my inbox, you can see that I now have a blue tag on this one email from Nestor where I am in fact on the CC line. Now we're going to look at another way to create an Outlook rule. So far, we've identified the messages in the inbox and then jumped into the rules from there. But you can start directly from Outlook settings by clicking on the gear icon and then scrolling to the bottom of the page and select view all Outlook settings. And then you'll select mail and rules and we're right back at the same window that the shortcut took us to earlier. Now I'm going to create a rule that is based on a keyword. So every time I have an info session message, I want it to go to my info session folder. And I'm going to base that on the subject or the body, including those words. I also know that people tend to spell the word info sessions incorrectly because it's a made up word. So I can put in multiple variants of the keyword in order to help Outlook catch all the instances for me. Now I need to select an action just like before. I'm going to pick move to select the folder and this time it'll be the info sessions folder. As always, I'm going to run the rule now. We'll go ahead and click save and then quickly navigate back to the inbox and you can see that it's starting to look a lot less cluttered. Now we're going to look at another way to clean up your inbox that is often overlooked and that's the sweep tool. This gives you four options for sweeping your messages automatically to the deleted items folder. You can move all messages in the folder as a one time only action. You can move all messages and any future messages. You can always keep the latest message and move the rest from the inbox or just automatically delete everything that's older than 10 days. If you don't want to automatically delete the items, you can click the drop down arrow and select a different folder. I'm going to keep the first example simple and just delete all of the messages. Now my box is almost clean. I have one more thing I want to take care of. I'm going to go back to sweep one more time. But in this case, I am going to choose a different folder and say I want all of them to go to the Vivia messages folder. Now I'm going to click OK and because I decided to move it to a folder, it actually set this up under the rules section. So I'm going to click on view rules. Now you can see all of the rules that we quickly set up to organize our inbox. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.